All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Hunt with Henry. Today, we're talking about turkey decoy setups. All right, welcome back guys. Like I said, today we're talking about turkey decoy setups. I'm gonna give you my top three. Number three is what I like to call the love triangle. We've got it set up right here. It consists of a Jake decoy in an aggressive posture or even a strutting tom with two hens leading that male bird. So I'm gonna have Whitney follow me around here and kind of show you the scenario of when I would set this up. So we're just out here in the yard guys. I'm not in the woods, but let's just say this is the wood line, this is the field or a meadow or in, even in the timber. And that bird's gobbling somewhere out here in front of me. And I'm sitting up against a tree right here with my Henry. I've got my birds out here. And I'm gonna come back here. I've got the Jake decoy the closest to me. The hens out here in front leading. So if I've got a bird gobbling over here or a bird gobbling over here or even out in front of me, that bird's gonna go to that Jake most likely. So if he comes to the front, boom. I got a perfect shot right here. He's closest to me. The hens aren't in the way. If he comes from here, same thing. If he comes from back here, he's gonna go through here, right through the middle, straight to this Jake. And you're gonna have that perfect shot yeah. on that turkey when he comes in to beat this thing up. Number two is a single hen, or you could use two hens, but basically just hen decoys. Sometimes you get later in the season and those gobblers aren't quite as aggressive uh, maybe they've been beat up, they've seen some decoys. Maybe they've been actually kicked off the main group by more aggressive toms, and they really don't want to pick that fight. But what they are wanting to do is breed. So take that single hen out, maybe two of them. What I like to do if I use two of them is take a hen kind of similar to this, maybe set her directly on the ground like so. She's in a breeding position. And then I'll grab another one here and maybe grab something like this, the feeding hen. Put her slightly off to the side, like so. She's so got this hen over here with some good motion, like she's feeding. You've got one over here that's ready to breed. And that's gonna give that gobbler that's been beat off that group or doesn't wanna pick a fight with that Jake the confidence he needs to maybe come in and breed this hen. All right guys, last but not least, number one, this is probably my personal favorite. I've had a ton of success with this setup. A Jake over the top of a hen this is gonna simulate a breeding position. Now, you don't wanna set that Jake directly on top of her. You wanna set it just off, so if a little bit of wind maybe gives that decoy just a little bit of motion up on top of that hen, that is gonna make that gobbler lose his mind if he is in the right mood. He's gonna come over here and try to kick this thing's butt and make sure that he is not gonna breed this hen. If you've got really aggressive birds in your area, this is probably one of the most deadly setups. Another thing you can try to do is paint your decoy's head white like this one. If you've ever noticed, when a gobbler is getting ready to breed, most of the time the red in his head is going to drain out and he's going to be mostly white and blue. When a Tom sees this setup with that white head, he knows that this Jake is about to breed this hen and most likely he's not gonna stand for it. Okay guys, so those are my top three turkey decoy setups. We've had a ton of success with those over the years and I definitely think that you guys can too. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hunt with Henry. We definitely enjoyed bringing it to you. So until next time, God bless. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not gonna be made at all.